Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimax and today I'm going to show you how to text for free. This is the iPhone that I have, uh, it has no servers right now and I actually put I put it into airplane mode and I just have it connected to the Wi-Fi. This phone has service, as you can see it says right there, there's the signal bars and I turn off the Wi-Fi. And um, I'm just going to show you uh, this great app called Google Voice and, uh, and prob probably a lot of you have heard Google Voice and um, and if you take a look at the, the ratings for the app, it's only two stars or one star. I can't remember, but I don't know why it's rated so badly, guys. Um, the I could I could only think of two options of why two reasons why it's rated bad. Well, one reason is that um you cannot send pictures through Google Voice or you cannot have group chats. That's the only downside of Google Voice. But other than that, you could always uh, text for free using the Wi-Fi. As long as your phone is connected to either service or Wi-Fi or has internet, it doesn't matter whether whether you're running in a carrier and you just have internet plans, it could still run. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to show you that it works. This is this is the phone that has Google Voice. And um, I'm just going to text this phone. So I'm just going to put it, uh, where is it called? Uh, I think it's called test cell phone right there. There we go. And I'm just gonna say hello, and it's gonna text to this phone. There it is. It got the message and it vibrated too. It says hello, and I'm just gonna reply back. So I'm just gonna say hey. Oops. And I got the message. Hey. I just don't know why people rate it so badly guys and I'm gonna show you on how to um how to set up your Google Voice so let's go right to the computer guys alright guys so uh, we're in the computer right now but uh, before you go into the computer I suggest you to download the app first and have it ready to, ready uh, up and run once we set up the account and yes uh, in order to run Google Voice you are gonna need to require to have a Google account but it only takes like two or three minutes tops and uh, once you create your account, you want to go to google.com slash voice and you're going to be directed to a screen that looks similar to this and uh, and before we actually set up and have a new number for our Google Voice account, we're actually going to need to forward a phone so, but don't worry guys, once the phone is already forward, you could just um, remove, you cannot remove the phone, but you could just disable it that way in case if someone someone does call your Google Voice, it won't actually ring your forward phone so, I'm just going to I'm just gonna type the information right here and forward my phone. So right there where it says phone number, you just wanna type in the the number that you're gonna use to activate the phone. So I'm just gonna it could be a house phone, so it doesn't really matter. As long as it calls, it's all good. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna enter the phone number. And you could just choose um, whatever phone type it is. I'm just going to choose mobile for now. I'm just going to click continue. And uh, it's going to ask you to uh, verify the phone. So I'm just going to click call me now. And uh, once the phone rings, you're going to enter in these, eight, these, these two digit numbers. The two digit number that it assigns you. So I'm just going to call now. Alright, once you uh, already uh, enter in the two digits numbers, you could just hang up. Once we are here where it says choose your number, this is where you want to enter your area code, your zip code, or uh, or the city you live in. Like for example, if I, if I, wa if I want to enter in uh, Los Angeles, I'm just going to press enter and it's going to give you a list of numbers that's available to me that I could choose to be my primary Google Voice account number. So uh, this is this is a great thing about Google Voice because uh, you could assign an area code that your friends will recognize. So let's say if I want to call them right now using the area code and I live in Los Angeles, uh, they'll probably chances are of them answering is going to be really high than just getting a different area code that is not from the area you live in. They're probably going to hang up or anything. But I suggest you guys to get a an a a Google Voice number that's around your area code. So I'm just going to choose uh, any random one. Just gonna click continue, and once you've done that, you're in this screen. It's gonna say congratulations. You already set up your Google Voice number, so this is the number that you could just give give out to your friends, 
for they could text you so uh, if I just gonna give it out to my friends you know, oh yeah here's my number text me and once they text you you should just reply back to them so yeah that's pretty much it you just wanna click finish oh and one more thing once uh, and, it, and it's gonna give you this you could just delete it it's just an intro to the google voice and this is where you and this is where you get to type the number you want to text to so you could just enter in your your friend's phone number so this is the uh, this is uh, another benefit from using google voice you could actually text using the computer as well not only your your mobile device ipod or whatever this works with with any device ipod ipod ipad whatever as long as uh, if it has a google voice app in the market you're good you're good to go and you could also text from a computer so that's pretty nice so let's say if i lost my phone you could still text using um the computer you just need to go to googlevoice.com google.com slash voice and just enter in your credentials and you should be into a screen like this you could just keep texting your friends from here and um and this is uh once you're in the mobile device uh there's no ads there's no annoying ads like i said uh it doesn't ask you for your credit card information no nothing it's just free texting well, this is PSP Slim Hack, so thank you for watching this video. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more um, PC slash iPod tutorials. Well, like I said, this is PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.